We know that the FTX was not only one of the biggest crypto exchanges, Matt, it was also seeking to bail out other struggling crypto firms across the industry while Sam Bankman-Fried was actively trying to change policies in the United States around digital asset regulation. Now, the unwinding of his firms leaves about billions of dollars at risk for clients and investors, with some of the largest ones in Singapore, Japan, Canada, and the U.S. collectively pouring almost $2 billion into FTX venture rounds in a mere six months coming into this year. It was valued at $32 billion in January, and now investors risk losing it all. Roll forward to today. FTX is facing probes by the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, the CFTC, and the Department of Justice. Authorities and regulators are investigating whether FTX has mishandled customer funds and seeking to unravel the ties between FTX and the rest of Sam Bankman-Fried's empire. Now, many of the concerns surfaced on Friday after Coindesk reported billions of dollars worth of ties between FTX and Alameda, the trading firm run by Sam Bankman-Fried. And the major concern here was that FTT, a token issued by FTX, had accounted for a large chunk of the balance sheet at SBF's trading firm. Over the weekend, the CEO of Binance said he would start selling the FTT tokens that he owned, and that was about a half a billion dollars worth. But the token was under so much pressure, and issues really mounted here at a faster pace for FTX and SBF. Within days, the Binance CEO said he signed a letter of intent to acquire FTX, given the liquidity issues, but the value of the FTT token was crashing at that time. FTX is now facing a hole in its own balance sheet of about $8 billion, a person familiar with the matter told Bloomberg's Jillian Tan. Famed venture capital firm Sequoia has written down its investment to zero, and it's an indication that others might do the same. The Wall Street Journal reported on Thursday that about $16 billion of customer assets at FTX, of those funds, about half were lent to the Alameda trading firm. SBF says on Twitter today that Alameda is winding down its trading operations and that he's in talk with investors to raise liquidity to make investors whole again. For FTX, primarily these are clients, people who had their accounts with FTX and other investors, he says, come next in line to get paid back.